Crowd of over 5,000 here at the O'Connell Center. And a little earlier, chanting some orange and blue back to back, led by Melanie Sinclair and Amanda Castillo, who also carried the flags in when the Gators first ran out on the floor. <laughs> and so why not end up with their floor routines, the final two floor routines for the Gators tonight. And we'll start off with Melanie Sinclair going all around in this evening's competition. And when she's gone all around, she's placed either first or second. That's how awesome she is. But take a look at this. Layout double back. Just a slight bobble on that landing. Lots of power. Second telling pass, front layout, front full. She was the SEC Gymnast of the Week after winning the season opener January 15th. There are just some gymnasts that are worth the price of a ticket. Melanie Sinclair, Amanda Castillo are two of them. They're just, they seem to be having such joy of competing and performing and the crowd gets it. And that's what's awesome about collegiate gymnastics. And you see the girls in their bios, they're talking about what they love about collegiate gymnastics. It's the team aspect, having each other cheer for you, having these great crowds cheer for you. It makes it so exciting compared to the level, you know, level 10 gym gymnast or elite gymnast. Nice finish with a pike double back. And finishing with my favorite move, the gator <laughs> chomp. <laughs> wow, she's just, this the height of her tumbling and all is just incredible. Power on that, look at that double layout. Very difficult pass to start with. She learned that new this year. 9850 for Sinclair. And now we go to the final beam routine for Arkansas and Casey Joe McGee going all around, having good scores so far, everything 980 or better. And she's tied for 25th nationally on the beam. Great event for her. Switch leap into tuck full. It's a long way from home when you grow up in Oregon and you end up competing in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Exactly, there's a round off layout step out. A double turn, how, I said how difficult it is to do a full turn on the beam sometimes under the nerve issue of a competition, but a double turn, that's incredible. Very difficult skill. That looked quite as hard as like the flips, but it is very difficult. She tied the school record on beam last year with a 9.95. You see a side aerial. We're not seeing many 995s this evening. In fact, haven't seen one. 9925 is the best score we've seen. We've only seen one of those. Well, let's see about this dismount. A double twist, and there's the big hop there at the end. That'll cost her at least a tenth. That's just a solid routine for Casey Joe. Taking a look at this dismount. A double twist, and she held on just a little long. You can see she absorbed maybe a little too much on that landing. 9850 for McGee and Arkansas has to be pleased. Not one uh, bad routine that had to count throughout the evening on the road against the third ranked team in the country. And they've performed at a very high level. Not as high as the Gators, but at a high level. And now Florida will wrap up its competition with the SEC floor champion, Amanda Castillo. And she's a great finisher here for this Florida lineup. Nice full twist and pull back. And there's a smile there after that. Great height on that pass. Her music is a mix of Gloria Stefan and Jennifer Lopez. Not enough whip. Back handspring, tuck double back. Amanda had a little trouble on a routine against Georgia. For, for getting the routine a little bit. Um, making it very difficult. Not a huge deduction on that, but just a more of less a, a technical error, I guess, just looking at and seeing that a few things are not quite right. She won six floor titles as a freshman for the Gators. Four-time All-American, third the NCAA All-Around, so that tells you how good she is. All she has left is her last tumbling pass. You see a little breather there as she runs. Round up a handspring, nice high pike double back. You can tell she's excited about this routine. 
Wow, great finish for Amanda. Taking a look at this great tumbling. Backhand spring, pike double back. A look at the height, and this is at the end of the routine when she's tired. A 9-9-0 for Amanda Castillo wrapping up the floor routine for the Gators. We'll check the results when we return to the O-Dome. Stay with us on Sun Sports. Both teams assembled on the floor here at the O'Connell Center as they get set to honor the individual winners and the team. For today's competition, let's check out the results. First on vault, Corey Hartung wins once again a 9.925 for Hartung, leading a 1-2-3 sweep for the Gators. On the uneven bars, a tie. Casey Joe McGee and Melanie Sinclair tie for first place. Peacock and Hartung share third. We go over to the balance beam where Rebecca Zeiser and Corey Hartung both matched 9.875s. McGee, Sinclair, and Reed, also strong performers. And on floor exercise, Amanda Castillo, the All-American for the Gators, comes through. Emily Peacock with a strong finish for Arkansas. In the individual all-around, it was Corey Hartung picking up her ninth victory of her Gator career. Melanie Sinclair edges out Casey Joe McGee for second individually and as a team the Gators win it by almost one full point a strong performance for Rhonda Fain's Florida Gators really really pleased with the performance on vault and on beam as well floor was great uh, again we weren't able to put in Nicola we chose to take her off of vault and floor to let her rest but use your bars and beam so as far as that goes we could have done a little bit better there but we're really pleased with everything else and the way they performed and how they were um, aggressive. And they understand that we need to go back and work on these little things and that they're not 100% pleased, which you shouldn't be, because we still have to improve quite a bit by the end of the season. Uh, I felt great at every meet. I come in here determined and, and ready to go, and I just take one event at a time, just like every meet. I'm, I get myself ready mentally and physically in the gym, and then for every meet I come in here feeling the same, determined and, and aggressive and focused on every event. A determined, focused performance for the Florida Gators, the third-ranked Gators winners today over Arkansas. We thank our producer, John Rubin, and our entire Sun Sports crew for all the work in bringing you the sights and sounds of this meet between the Florida Gators and the Arkansas Jimbacks. For my sidekick, Melissa miller Schubeck. I'm Larry Vitell. Thanks once again for joining us, along with 5,000 others as we saw the Gators get the win.